Let's go back live to the High Point Market and the Furniture Today team. Here's Ray Allegreza. Thanks, Christina. You know, so much of the conversation this week here at Market is about new product and style and design. But with new regulations coming down the pike, a lot of the conversations really need to be about compliance and what manufacturers have to do to avoid complications. My guest this morning is Andy Counts, CEO of the American Home Furnishings Alliance. And Andy, good. thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning, Ray. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here. Could you give us an example of a product category that falls in that kind of... Uh, well, unfortunately, there's plenty of regulations we could talk about this morning, Ray, but I'm just going to focus on two that are, should be top of mind for manufacturers in the market right now. Um, as an organization in the industry, we focus on product safety. We want to develop standards that make sure consumers have the safest product possible. Bedroom manufacturers need to be aware that there's been some revisions to the furniture tip-over standard. Uh, this standard was developed back in 2000. It applies to clothing storage units over 30 inches in, in height. Uh, the revisions tweak the testing requirements and also includes a, a labeling requirement. Now the label is going to go inside the top drawer of a unit, maybe inside the um, a, a door front, and it's going to advise consumers about the hazards involved with furniture tip over. For instance, it's going to tell you that you should always put heavy objects down in the lower of the unit. You should never open two or three drawers at a time. You should uh, be aware that when children climb on furniture, there's hazards involved. But most importantly, it's going to tell you not to put a television on a piece of furniture that's not specifically designed for that. Uh, and additionally, manufacturers have to include a tip restraint so that consumers can secure the furniture to the wall. Terrific. Now, there's a lot of people getting in the youth category who have not been in it before. What's the, what's the potential risk there? Well, that's an excellent point. The, you know, the, the tip-over standard applies to all clothing units, regardless of its youth bedroom or not, but it, it's especially important that youth bedroom comply. There's over 25,000 injuries each year associated with tip-over of televisions, furniture, and appliances. Uh, this typically involves children between the ages of one and five, uh, all these accidents are avoidable, so that's the purpose of the standard to try to address those issues. Anything else that the industry should know about this particular standard? Well, a lot of people say, well, do I really need to comply? It's a voluntary standard, and, and it's, uh, we encourage all manufacturers to comply with the standard so that consumers can get the safest product possible in the marketplace. Any other regulations that should be up front and center? Well, I think most importantly people are asking about the California labeling laws. Um, we're working with the California to get guidance on that and we'll uh, be addressing that soon with, uh, with our members and letting the industry know exactly what's required. Okay, great. You know, you've got so much information. We, I, we could talk all day about this. But you have so much information on the website. Where can people go to get more information? Please go to www.ahfa.us and um, we've got a brand new website. It's going to have a lot of good information for you. Good deal. Andy, thanks for being thanks, with Ray. us this morning. It's Ray Allegrez reporting live from the High Point Market. Christina, back to you and more Klausner at the market.